Praise the Lord. I'm so much glad that God has given us uh, this journey as we have been talking about the atonement. And we say that atonement is the work that Christ did in his life and in his death. And we have been learning a lot about the atonement. And uh, he has been giving us hope as Christian as we step out strong. Today, uh, it's another day again. We are still under the pain that Christ went through for you to gain your salvation, you and me to gain salvation. And I want us to read from the book of uh, uh, Matthew 26, 56. And today, the pain that Christ went through is abandonment. Abandonment. I don't know whether you have been abandoned by friends and relatives and even your colleagues. Jesus went through that pain. Let's read from the book of uh, Matthew 26, uh, verse 56. Verse 56 says, But this has all taken place that the writing of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. This one was when Jesus was being arrested. And when he has been arrested, the Bible records that all disciples deserted him and fled. We say that a friend in need is a friend indeed. There's pain that you go through when you are facing a challenge and the people whom you believe should stand with you have deserted you. And Jesus went through that because of your sin and because of my sin. And he was paying that penalty so that I, you and me can receive salvation. That is good news. That's a good news that should help you to step out strong. All disciples forsook him and fled. It is painful to be rejected by friends. It is painful to be deserted by friends. When you note John chapter 13 verse 1, Jesus loved to the end. In return, they all abandoned him. Jesus loved to the end. When he was walking with them, when people are angry, he could perform miracles, he could feed them. He was teaching them. But Malipo... You do good, but the payment is rejection. People desert you and you remain alone. Jesus was abandoned. And he did, he went through that pain because of you and me. So even as we reflect on the death of Jesus Christ and his resurrection, let us remember this pain of abandonment, this pain of being deserted, the pain of being rejected by people who are close with you. The worst abandonment is by the Father. When you read the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 46, sin separated Christ with God, the Father. And Jesus went through it, and the Bible records the cry and say, Our, my Father, my Father, why have you abandoned me? When Jesus carried our sins, the Father left him. He was alone. He went through the pain of abandonment. The pain of being deserted by the Father. Dear, the disciples made him also to have that pain. But the worst abandonment, the worst being deserted, or the worst rejection was the rejection of the Father. Because God does not fellowship with sin. When he carried our sins, God the Father deserted him. And Jesus went through that pain. Jesus went through this because of you and because of me. And our wish, Christian, we will be serious in our salvation and in our walk with Christ. It is not a joke. It is a matter of death and life. Christ went through a lot because of you. And therefore, Jesus loves you and he cares for you. The hope that I want you to go out with is he sacrificed all for you and for me. Jesus sacrificed. He was abandoned. He was rejected because he was carrying your own sin. He was even separated with God. Because God did not want to associate with him. Because he was carrying our sins. My sin and your sin. May you go out knowing that. He sacrificed all for you. You can trust him. He will never abandon you. He will never reject you. He will never desert you. Love him with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your, heart, uh, with all your mind. Worship him. 
is the one to be worshipped. Let me end the series of the atonement today. But remember, I've said atonement is the work of Christ. The work that he did in his life and in his death to earn our salvation. So as I'm ending that series of atonement, you need to understand that atonement is the work of Christ in his life and in his death for us to gain for us or to earn our salvation. Christ went through a lot. And therefore, as you walk out as a Christian, walk out bold. Seek the face of God always. Pray always. Remembering that we have talked about the atonement, the work of Christ in his life and in his death for you to gain salvation. And therefore, friends, I know we have enjoyed the journey. And I know that you have learned something about the atonement. The necessity of the atonement, the pain that Christ went through. And uh, it was not a must for God to send Jesus Christ. But because of love, he decided to send Christ to pay for us. And therefore, I pray that that topic of atonement have helped you and have blessed you. Let us pray. Father, thank you for this journey that we have walked, looking at the doctrine, the biblical doctrine on atonement, where we have realized that atonement means the work of Christ in his life and in his death to gain our salvation. It was not a must for you to send Christ, but because of your love and because you are God of justice, you decided that Christ come and pay the penalty. And Father, we have looked even at the pain that he went through, that you even abandoned him, and Christ went through the pain of death and the pain of suffering and the pain of abandonment. Father, as we go out, we have faith in you and we believe in you that you are a loving God, you are a caring God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen. Thank you. Go out, brothers and sisters, full of hope and full of joy. Shalom, shalom, till we meet again.